coming up on the programme. Huddersfield's victory at Varsity. We bring you some all-important highlights from the 25th anniversary of the sporting battle. All change at Barnsley campus. Huddersfield Uni prepares to hand over the running of courses to Barnsley College. Hud TV speaks to the head of the campus. And the daunting end of year exam period. We ask students what they're doing to make sure they pass with flying colours. That's all to come on the final edition of Hud TV. So stay tuned. Welcome to HUD TV. It was a tightly run contest between the sports people of Huddersfield and Bradford, but it was our uni that managed to claim victory at Varsity for the third year in a row. The annual sporting battle, the venue of which alternates between the Huddersfield and Bradford uni campuses each year, began in 1988. So it seems fitting that Huddersfield hosted and won Varsity in its 25th year. In a moment, our reporter talks to the current Vice President for Student Activities about the Games, but first, here's some of the best moments of a memorable Varsity 2013. bits of an action-packed Varsity 2013. Well, we can now cross to our reporter Michael Bristow, who is joined in the SU by Daniel Dunn, the Vice President for Student Activities. Over to you, Mike. OK, thanks, Nick. Well, I'm here with Daniel now and the famous Varsity trophy, which Huddersfield have won for, two, for three years consecutively. You've been in office for two of them years. How does it feel to be part of such a successful team? Uh, obviously brilliant, yeah. Uh, a lot of hard work goes into Varsity. A lot of it's probably unnoticed um, and unseen. Um, so it's really good that, obviously, as much for the students but for the staff members who put in the hard work that we've we've managed to do that for three years in a row and to be kind of involved in two of those has been great. And obviously this year it was very close. Were you ever in doubt that Huddersfield were going to lose it? Um, I don't think so. I think on the day um, certainly I have a lot to do and a lot to worry about. Um, 
and I personally have asked to be kept out of the loop in terms of what the results are, same as we keep all the students out of the loop. Um, but I always believe that we would do it. And as well as organising varsity, you've played as well. Is it as competitive on the pitch as it is for the uh, crowds as well? Oh, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Um, probably a little bit more so um, because, you know, that game at that time means means absolutely everything for the next, you know, however long it's played for. So, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, it's a bit, it's a miles different to any other game you play while you're at uni. And can Huddersfield go on and win it for a fourth year next year? <laughs> I certainly don't see why not. Um, our teams are improving loads, so I definitely don't think there's a reason why we shouldn't. All right, brilliant. Thanks very much, Danny. Michael Bristow speaking to Daniel Dunn. And for a full list of varsity results, just go to huddersfield.su and follow the links to activity and varsity. Huddersfield Uni is pulling out of the day-to-day -day running of the Barnsley campus. From this summer, the campus in South Yorkshire will be managed by Barnsley College. The college will be responsible for the management of the campus and delivery of the courses from August. Although Huddersfield will still continue to have a presence in Barnsley, overseeing the quality and validation of the new arrangement. For students at Barnsley, however, it means business as usual. Peter Crowther reports. Late last year, it was announced that as of August 2013, the university campus Barnsley will no longer be part of the University of Huddersfield. I think the, the university is going through many changes, uh, and I think the setting up of the campus was part of um, a strategy of towns like us that, that came from the previous vice-chancellor. Um, and so the new strategy, I think, is now to concentrate maybe on more research or more um, more higher level of thinking and, the, uh, the, uh, and probably the, the whole thing about the two campuses that used to be Oldham and Barnsley uh, in that mix mm -hmm. doesn't fit well so it, it's a strategic decision uh, in terms of the way that the university will go in the future. Before its opening in 2005 the historic grade 2 listed building had a major £5.5 million pound refurbishment providing students with facilities including industry standard television and radio studios, video editing suites, soundproof recording production and practice rooms, and PC and Mac computer studios. But with the recent increase in student fees, these creative-based courses took a hit in student numbers. Those courses actually took quite a big hit uh, nationally yeah. um, last year with a lot of people choosing more vocational or professional based courses although I just think that if you do a creative course then you have lots of the skills that employers want team working um, communication all things like that um, and a lot of employers actually see that and don't really want people who've done a business course to come into their business they want someone who's done a humanities course to come into their business because they've got all the skills that they can use. And finally, the exam period is almost upon us. For those of us in our final year, it's one last hurdle to get over before we say goodbye to uni life. For the rest of us, it's yet another step towards building up careers in whatever we want to do. But just how prepared are we? HUD TV travelled around campus to ask students if they have exams this year and what they're doing to prepare for them, if at all. I'm here outside the business school where it's a very stressful time for most students. Exams are coming up and we want to know just how students are preparing this year. What revision methods are you using this year to prepare for your exams? Our uh, revision methods are uh, doing various mind maps and that sort of thing to draw out everything I need to know, sort of plan it through. I would put post-it notes all over the wall yeah. and try and remind myself. Are you coming in during the day, waiting home for a bit of a rest, coming back and doing a few more hours. Catching up on notes, reading the chapters. Do revision uh, questions and exam questions and stuff like that doing on my work last minute. And for those of you who don't know when your exams are, God help you, just go to hud.ac.uk forward slash registry and follow the link to exams. That's all from HUD TV. Don't forget, all three of our programmes are available to watch at huddersfield.su or by searching HUD TV on YouTube. We hope you've enjoyed our regular roundups of news from across the Huddersfield campus. We know what you're thinking, good riddance. Thank you for watching and goodbye.